Just a quick video there to give a quick review of this, the Corinthia Tropen. I got this there a while back but didn't get to use it because of lockdown. Mummy sleeping bag, this is the medium. I think it's like 185 cm or something like that. I can't really remember. I used this in Wicklow at the start of September. It was a little bit cool out, but I wasn't cold at all. I did leave on a base layer though and stuff. But uh, I also had this inside it. British Army sleeping bag liner. I got that off Varu Stilica. I think I bought that off Amazon for it was a 90 quid. Brand new, which was a very good price. The Corinthia Tropen that is. <laughs> Then inside, you've got the mosquito net that's hidden inside there. Great little feature, easy to use. Very light sleeping bag, to be honest. It, it, I picked that because I wanted a small bag from inside my pack with that liner there as well. I'd say if I had a merino base layer, I could stay out in pretty low temperatures with it. I haven't tried it yet. I loads of room in it anyway. I did, but I'm only five seven or something. You know, great sleeping bag. Here I put the liner in just to give you an idea. It fits in pretty well. Although to me, it actually looks a little bit short, even though it fits me the liner. But it looks a little bit short in the bag. I might actually take off the hood because I didn't use it at all. I couldn't even get it on to be honest when I got into the bag. But I was quite warm in that. The only thing I will say is Corinthia told me to use their poly cotton liner with this. With this bag and the shape of the poly cotton liner has a round hole. It looks like the Defence 1 or the Defence 4 or Defence 6. Defence 4 and 6 I think. And it was 50 euros from them. I think I paid off for Verus to like, a, like 7 quid for the, that liner. I think you can get them in the UK for about a fiver as low as £2. The sleeping bags, though, are pretty expensive, the Corinthia, but in my opinion, are worth every penny. I wouldn't skimp on it. I like the military-style gear, and Corinthia specialise in cold weather, so I'm pretty happy with it so far. I'm gonna. The other thing I will say about this liner, and I'll just pause the video and show you, on one side of the liner, on the left side, there's actually extra fasteners, so you can fasten it away from yourself and leave it open which is handy not that i'd really be bothered um yeah just a quick overview i'm gonna put, wrap the two of them back up now in a minute and put them back into the stuff sack the one so stuff sack as i said the corinthia offer a poly cotton liner um i think that's just a cotton one it did boost the temps but not by a lot i'd say um Currently offer another liner called the Grizzly, which is thermal micro fleece or something. And if you put that into that sleeping bag, I'd be I'd say you could sleep in autumn at least with it. You know, I might buy it just to see. You know, but a great sleeping bag. You know, good quality gear. The the liner is just cheap. It was just to keep me a little bit warmer and keep the bag cleaner. Did the job fine. Bit of oil camping with Glock. All the hood are all cinchable so you can close it down on top of yourself. The zips are also quick open. I'm not going to do it now because I'm holding my phone in one hand doing the video. But they're robust. And then you have the baffle over that then as well. There's also tie-off points on the inside for the liners. You could, I think the British Army modular liner is the same as the Corinthians. You can also open the bottom to leave in some air. It also has a trapezoidal foot section for more room. Can't really see it there now. Look, there's more tabs for tying it into the inside of the defence floor to make it like a minus 35 or 45. I'm not sure for sure. I can't really remember. So there's a sleeping bag and the liner. Sorry, I'm upside down. There's a sleeping bag and the liner both back into the compression sack. 
when you can compress it down a tiny bit and it fits perfectly in the bottom of this Savata Yakari or Yakari Jaeger pack, whatever it's called. But um, I've been building my own bushcraft kit based on this pack. That's part of it, you know. You can't go wrong with Corinthia or Savata, to be honest. Um, I can cinch it down and show you how small it does get, though. And I'll do that next. There's the pack cinched down quite a bit. It fits pretty snugly down in the bottom of the pack. Although it does fill it out quite a bit. Um, comes up to here, just past the pockets. But it will also compress down with some weight on top. Um, you could put it up the top here with the flap down like that. In underneath the flap. If you compress the flap quite a bit. Or, com sorry, compress the bag quite a bit. But I noticed that the fins seem to carry their sleeping pad up here. You know, so I might try that myself. But uh, yeah, great, great sleeping bag, great pack. Hope you enjoyed the video.